All right, fellas. This is actually something new that I'm going to be showcasing here as well, alongside the Wi-Fi battles that I usually do. Not only am I going to present um, singles battles here in my channel, but I'm also going to be showing multi battles as well. Because in Sun and Moon, for me, the the multi battles have always been kind of fun, actually. Like, you get to you're not only battling against one person, but two in this case, and you're partnered with someone else in the process. I always thought that was kind of cool, because you know how in the game you would always pair up with someone to fight some non-playable characters? And I, for me, I don't know about you people, but for me that was always kind of fun. So doing it with actual people was actually kind of interesting to me, so yeah. And this is actually going to be a multi-battle that I had with uh, a streamer by the name of Vanderforge. The one where, um, the one who can make, um, who can forge your destiny into reality. Yeah, um, he does multi battles streams on usually every Sunday, and I'm usually there to, you know, take part in a few of them at least. And I got this one right here because this one was actually a one of the most craziest um, multi battles that I've ever had. Because it was crazy. J just watch it. it. It was really crazy. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention the opponents. The opponents are actually going to be a couple spectators from Banner Forge's stream because Banner battles a lot of people. Uh, the one on the left is actually Delphantasist, and the one on the right is Noodle Guy. In other words, the one with the the Gliscor is Delphantasist, the one with the, the, the Tapu Koko is Noodle God. Um. I already mentioned the leads. Bander and I are gonna both lead with um, Reuniclus, and I'm gonna lead off with Tapu Lele. And I get the Psychic Train up, which is good because he led with Tapu Koko, which means that I now get to negate the Electric Terrain because my Tapu Lele is actually Choice Specs and not Choice Scarfed. He's actually his Tapu Koko is gonna go for a U-turn, and now Noodle God is gonna send out Fluffy, which is the Hydreigon, which I wasn't expecting. And the, what's it called, the the Glisker goes for U-turn as well, which is actually kind of funny. They both go for U-turn on the Reuniclus, which is crazy. And he he does go for Psychic, the Reuniclus, thinking that the Glisker would probably try to stay in. Probably didn't expect U-turn from Glisker, but yeah. And I switch out because my Tapu Lele was choice specs and it was locked in the side shot because I didn't think that he'd um, hard switch into Hydreigon. It was hard to predict if he was going to bring it or not as well, so yeah. And I switched in Lucario and I was hoping he wouldn't go for Fire Blast. Thankfully I did switch it in because he actually does go for a Flash Cannon which would have done a lot of damage to Tapu Lele. Vander my, my, is going to go for, um, for the all out pummeling here with his Reuniclus aka Morpha. And he's gonna direct it at the Hydreigon, basically. And here I was hoping that he'd be able to take it out, so that, that way I can not worry about this thing possibly being a um, mixed, like a non-choice variety and actually switching up the moves um, to take out my Lucario. But here something really, really interesting happens. I'm going to Mega Evolve my Lucario, because this is the Mega Lucario, because in Vanderforge's stream, we usually go by Battle Spot rules. Or at least we did here. And um, we can use Mega Lucario. It's not banned or anything. So here he's gonna go for the. I'm just gonna go for Bullet Punch. And I do manage to land it because despite being in the psychic terrain, um, Hydreigon wasn't uh, on the ground like Lucario was. So yeah. Uh, I, I do get to take out the Hydreigon as a result. And the the Meowstic that, um, that Delphin sent out is gonna actually go for Light Screen and I think also Reflect. That's kind of the purpose of that meow stick to begin with. And now Noodle God is gonna send out um, Tapu Koko again to get the electric terrain up, and Delphantasis is gonna switch out into Grumple, which is the Glisker. I'm gonna switch out into Tapu Lele because I, once again, don't want this thing to have electric terrain up because this thing is a threat with the electric terrain up. So, Morpha is gonna go for recover to get a lot of HP back because a lot of the, these two have been attacking strictly the Reuniclus and it's kind of forcing Vanderforge to actually just use up Recover so he's gonna keep going for Recovers because he keeps thinking that that um, both Delphin and Noodlegar are targeting him so it's only understandable why he goes for it and look 
he goes for U-turn right here once again with Glisker and I'm gonna switch back into um, not Meowstic but actually into Conkledur, Cold, the cold ass Conkledur. And my um, Tapulele is gonna go for Psy Shock right here to do as much damage to um, Tapu Koko as possible. And with Choice Specs, even through Reflect, it did a lot actually. The the um, the Psy Shock. But now he he's gonna U-turn again towards the Reuniclus. And he's gonna send out X-Wing, which is the Mega Metagross, because once again, we don't go by Smogon rules here. We actually go by Battle Spot rules, which allow any Megas to be here, whether they're Uber or not. So I'm going to take advantage of that, or he's gonna take advantage of that, and use Mega Metagross. Morpha is gonna keep going for recover because they still keep targeting Reuniclus. Here, this Conkledur, because it's under Trick Room, it's going to un outspeed the. Um, the Tapalele. Yeah, because the Trick Room was set up by Vander earlier. And um, it's going to take out Tapalele with a Poison Jab, which sucks, but honestly, uh, it kind of needed that Trick Room so that it can outspeed as much stuff as possible. But it hasn't been able to do anything because they keep targeting Reuniclus. Here, it's finally able to attack someone, and it's actually going to go for the Conkledur. It doesn't KO because the light screen is still up. And it's gonna just retaliate with a payback, which is actually crazy. I did not think that um, this Conkledur would carry that, honestly. My Rose Raid is actually gonna go for Hidden Power Ground on this thing, because just to get damage. I was hoping the Reuniclus would be able to go for Shadow Ball, but he didn't attack it, um, so I was in big trouble. And now this Mega Metagross is just gonna go straight for a Psy Shock on my Rose Raid. Uh, Psy Shock, Zen Headbutt, which boosted by Tough Claws, Stab, and then Psychic Terrain, that sounds really, really painful. And it really, really hurts to see Rosary go down to that, honestly. But anyway, I'm gonna go into Lucario right here, Mega Lucario. And I'm actually here because the tr the the Trick Room was still up, or at least I thought. I just go for the um for the Bullet Punch here, I believe. While Vander goes into Mawile because they finally took out the Reuniclus. So he's gonna go into Mega Mawile. I go for Bullet Punch because I thought um, Psychic Turing was still up, but it wasn't apparently. Had I known that, I would have probably went for the Close Combat on the um, Lucario. Not to mention, I thought I wasn't going to live this Earthquake that it was going to go for, or I thought it was going to Psychic or Zen Headbutt my, um, my um, Lucario, but it didn't go for it. It went for Earthquake and it hit everybody. and. Um, the Mega Mawile is now going to take out the Conkledur with a play rough. Here, a clutch moment happens. Okay, so this Ma um, Mega Mawile goes for Sucker Punch on the Mega Metagross, takes it out. And because Reflect is still up, I was just hoping that this Ice Punch would do a lot of damage. But thankfully, I got a huge significant crit right there. Because the Reflect was still up, and knowing how bulky these damn Gliscors are, I didn't think it, uh, Ice Punch from Lucario was going to KO despite it being X4 weak to it because it's not stabbed, so... Yeah, that crit definitely mattered, otherwise we would probably have lost right here. In fact, the, the reason why I went for Bullet Punch earlier was because I thought the Mega Metagross was going to finish off Mega Lucario one way or another, but it didn't do that, honestly. So that was actually kind of surprising. That was kind of a misplay in my opinion, actually. Here he's going to send out his last Pokemon, which is Tapu Koko, which I can easily just Bullet Punch. I think here Reflect is still up, which is why this Meowstic still lives a Sucker Punch from a Mega Mawile, which is crazy. And here, Delphantis is just going to finish my Lucario, and that was my last Pokemon. But if my boy Vanderforge can take out this Meowstic, which I'm pretty sure he can at this point, then we're, 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 we're Gucci, basically. Here, Delphantis is going to go for um, Assist, hoping for maybe a one-hit KO move. <laughs> but he doesn't get it. Instead, he just gets a crit Aerial Ace, which is resisted by Mega Mawile. And Mega Mawile is just going to go for Play Rough and finish off the Meowstic. And that's going to be the good game. Uh, good game. <laughs> That's gonna be a good game to literally everyone here. Vanderforge saving my rear end in that battle because I really was playing a little bit bad on my side as well. The opponents were actually really tough and holy cranberries, if it wasn't for that crit, we would have been done for. But anyways, that was the that was gonna be our first multi-battle. I do have a few more saves, so I'm gonna be showing a few more of these. Not as much as the singles battle, so if you guys are not really keen on the multi-battles, that's perfectly fine. Uh, there, I don't have a lot of them saved. I only have like a, like, I don't remember like five or seven of these saved. So, 
it's not gonna be a lot whereas singles battles i have plenty of so you can definitely um, look forward to that so anyways thank you for watching nonetheless and i'll catch you guys in the next battle and um take it easy